The Performance Panel Sound Tab controls allow you to customize how individual clips behave in the Performance Panel. To access these controls, first select a clip in the Performance Panel by clicking on it, or shift-click to select multiple clips. Next, click the Sound Tab, then the Perform Tab. The first parameter is Q. This works just like the global Q setting at the top of the screen, but if it's set to any value other than Project, the Q setting for the selected clip will override the global setting. This can be really useful in live performance, especially if you're using the performance panel with a USB hardware grid controller. Over here are settings for trigger mode. These let you customize how sounds trigger when the clip's play button is pressed. First is re-trigger. This is the default setting for clips. Anytime the play button is clicked, the clip will play from the top. Next is trigger once mode. In trigger once mode, the clip begins playing and plays continuously until one of the stop buttons is clicked. This is good for backbone type beats or loops that you don't want to accidentally stop. Transition in sync mode is like re-trigger, but the clip continues playing at the exact same position as the currently playing clip on the track. This is a little hard to explain, but a lot easier to demonstrate, so let's have a look. To demonstrate, I'm going to put this track in solo so we can just hear the drum beats, and then I'm going to take these two clips right here and shift click them, so now they're both selected, and I'm going to put them both in transition in sync mode. I have Q set on instant so that when I change sets, it's going to immediately switch. I'm going to start this set playing, and watch the playhead move across the clip. When I change sets, it's going to be in the same place in the next clip. So in this way, the groove never gets messed up when you're switching between sets. The one-shot checkbox over here means that clips will only play through one time, then stop. This is useful for individual note snippets or sound effects that you want to drop in here and there. You can't see my hand, but I'm just clicking the play button with the mouse every time. So this is really useful if you're playing with a live controller or a keyboard, and you want to drop in little sound effects or notes here and there. Over here are the performance control parameters. These affect how a clip's play button reacts to a mouse click, keyboard note on, or pressing a button on a USB grid controller. Down is the default setting, and this means when you press the play button on a clip, it simply plays until stop is pressed. So here I'm just clicking on the mouse, and letting go of it, and it continues to play. Down up means that the clip only plays when the play button is held down. So if I hold down the mouse button, the clip plays, and as soon as I let go, it stops. This is another function that's really useful when playing live. I'm going to set the main beat on instant trigger mode, and now we can play this live really effectively. So every time I hit the mouse button, it re-triggers. The last mode is toggle mode, and this means that playback latches on and off every time the play button is pressed. So a quick click will turn it on, and if I click again, it shuts it off. 